Sometimes I can't tell. So hi guys, happy fabulous Friday. Let me go ahead and get this going. Um, I wanted to get on here and do a little video. I'm gonna do two cards today because I got a little extra inspired and because Valentine's Day is only a few weeks away, I wanted to make sure you could order what you wanted in time or if you already have those items you could make make these items here so um, I also wanted to point out behind me I'm going to share the video for this cute little valentine banner um, this was using this month's paper pumpkin um, I made a little banner with it and I have a little tutorial for it so I'll share that later today normally I wait until Wednesday to share the alternatives but I'm going to share that one today just so that you have time to make it and hang it. So um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to um, be sure to share and comment. When you comment and you share my videos, it tells like Facebook and all their little minions, you know, or like their like algorithm that, you know, people like to watch these little videos and it just helps me a lot. So whenever you can comment on my video and say something and or share my video, even if you aren't going to go and buy any products from me or anything like that, maybe you have a friend of a friend of a friend and because you guys are friends, it shows them the video and maybe they would, you know, be interested in the other things that I make. So I really appreciate it whenever you guys share my videos and comment and just show that support. It's always nice to know that my video is actually watched because sometimes I, you know, I don't even know. So, um... All right, so I was gonna do a little video on um, using some paper pumpkin. Remember, it's celebration time, which means that every $50 you spend, you get a free gift out of this little booklet. And I showed you this booklet in another video, um, and I'm gonna show you a few of the items here right now, because I have a few of them on hand. I've made a few different projects. So every time you spend $50 or more, 50 in, when you spend in $50 increments, you qualify for a free item. And there's all kinds of items in here. There's stamp sets, there's paper, there's a stamp paper combo, there's a few different things that you can qualify for um, in here that are really, really cool. Like some of them are right up my alley, some of them are not so much, but still kind of neat. So thanks for tuning in. So let's go ahead and get started. All righty, let's go ahead and get that down. All right, let's see. Okay, so we've got our celebration brochure here, which I've shown you guys before. The new thing I wanted to show you was this daffodil paper, which is on the, one of the first pages. I don't actually, I was just given this paper. Look at the colors of this paper. I mean, it really has some nice, gorgeous colors. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this paper for anything in particular. I might just give it away as a gift or a prize for you know ordering for my class. Um, as you can see, it has a lot of great designs, including just plain daffodils, as well as the colorful top piece that I was just showing you. So there's a lot of options for this particular paper. Um, let me set that down. Then uh, remember we have the Marvelous paper, and I've shown you guys a couple projects with this one here where it's marble on one side and then it looks actually almost like silk or liquid on the other side and it has all these great colors to it. And so that is one of my favorite items from the kit or from the celebration. And then last week I had shown you guys a ladybug um, and that's I think on the next page was the mark. Oh, there, here's two of the stamp set. There's this cute little uh, VW bug stamp set, which is super fun. Then there's this sweet little girl with the butterflies. That one is a really fun stamp set um, that's available, um, remember, in $50 increments. Uh, then this one is actually, I think, next to the ladybug. This is my favorite. My mom loves rainbows, and maybe that's why I love rainbows. The colors of the right here do not do it justice. The colors of this paper are just insanely bright and fun and whimsical and it just has such a fun, great um, quality to it. This is called Sunshine and Rainbows 
and um, you get 48 sheets of paper and that's a lot of paper. So I really like this um, particular um, gift. And then the next one, I think is the otter one, which is the one I'm gonna show you now. Uh, oh, the marvelous paper and then the otter, which uh, is what we're gonna do now, use today is the otter. And the last one, which I have not gotten for myself, but is this great friendly hello stamp set and paper. So when you spend $100, you can get the paper with the stamp set, they coordinate. And it's really, really stunning. I mean, that's a really, really nice set. I mean, look at what you can do with just this, the designs. It really has, it picks up all of the great in colors that we use. It just has some great paper. And then this step here, oh, this stamp set is called Special Moments. Again, this is another one that is free with a $100 purchase. And it, the reason why it, this one is um, more than the Otter, it's because look at how many stamps. There's 21 stamps in here. This one has six. And so this one is a $50 item, but this one has 21 stamps. So you have to spend $100 to earn that one. And then there's one more. If you host a qualifying class, and I believe the qualifying class needs to be $300 or more. Yes, it says right there. If you spend or sell in your class $300 or more, you get this Camellia, Calming Camellia stamp, which sit, which is really, really pretty. You don't even, you don't purchase it. It just comes automatically, it's free. This one is has nothing to do with what you spend. It's if you have a party with me, or if you spend $300 on your own, you would get this one for free, hand dust done, one and done. And then you would also qualify for any of these other things if you spent the order yourself. So some really cool things in the um, the celebration. It's only good until the end of February, so be sure to you know get your stuff going. Don't forget we have our host code for uh, the month of January. So if you need to pick anything up, go ahead and go there. Um, so the first card I want to show you guys. Getting all my little treats. The first card I want to show you is this sweet little otter card that I made with, I mean, look at how cute. I made decided to make a Valentine with the otter. I got the idea from someone online and I just love otters and so I thought this would be a fun one. I decided to make him gray this time. Last time I made him a different color, but I decided to use the gray. Um, and this paper is called the Sweet, yeah, here it is. It's called the Sweet Talk series. And this weekend, I got super inspired by it because this weekend I went to a retreat, crafting retreat. Oops, my little thing is coming undone. I went to a crafting retreat and we used the paper to make a ton of Valentines. We made little like lollipop treats. We made these Valentines. These are using the memory and more cards. And so the envelope and the card are already made. All I had to do was cut, um, have these cut pieces here. And so such great designs on this paper. Um, this one that we're gonna be using today is probably one of my favorite just because I love the whimsy of candy. I just love candy. Um, this was kind of a surprising card. I didn't think I would like this background. It's Blushing Bride, but it's actually a nice background. And all of these stamps and little die pieces, they come from the Sweet Conversations um, stamp bundle. And so all these little tags and all these little die cut pieces come from that, and as well as these, they, it, it has like a Sweet Tarts kind of um, feel to it. That you know, like the, this little box has the Love You, and there's a few different designs that match it, as well as an XO, oh my little bow came undone get that going um, so there's great designs in this paper so I was thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make some cute Valentine's with my otter because I mean why not look how cute you know he is that little otter I mean look at the colors of this paper we didn't use this one we didn't use this side but this one I'm, I, I should have done one with the otter in this one but I don't know I just love it I just love the lollipops on it there's just a a whimsy to it. I feel like candy always share shows a little whimsy. This one, look, it's a little sweet tarts box, and the little sweet tarts are there. Large sweet tarts, um, just plain hearts. 
just candy in general makes me smile. Here, let me, it's just a fun concept. And, and even the back sides of the paper have um, fun designs you know, of stripes and, um, oh, this was a paper that we didn't use, but look at that paper. So even if it's not Valentine's Day, you could use several of these as just a fun, whimsical, um, especially the back sides. The back sides have um, different stripes and other things that are not Valentine-y or just, you know, a little sweet, you know, anniversary card or uh, or a little card for, you know, a little someone's birthday. I always feel, some people will say things are like childish, but I think that whimsy sometimes is, they say whimsy, you know, whimsical things tend to be childish. But I don't know about them being childish as just being whimsical. So I thought this was a fun little whimsical card. Some people might say that it's childish, but I just think it's whimsical. I just like the fun of the candy and you know, like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory kind of idea. So um, we're going to be using the um, the dual heart punch um, punches as well as the Otter stamp set. So we have our traditional um, card base. Um, <clears throat> I always like to have the tented card. Um, and so this is 11 inches long um, and it's scored at five and a half inches and it's four and a quarter inches wide, okay? I like it a little better than the traditional book card. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and take our, um, take our base. I told you, well, this is the one that has that blushing by background. And our, we're gonna layer up our traditional layers, quarter inch smaller. So this is four inches of pool party by five and a quarter inches. You always want to go down by one quarter inch if you want to get a nice border. You can go by smaller numbers. You can make your, um, where's my camera? There it is. Um, you can go down by eighths, but that means that your layer is going to be about that wide when you go down by an eighth. And I don't know, to me, that's just a really tiny, if I'm going to put this whole piece of cardstock on the background, I want my layer to be seen. And so that's just my style. So we'll go ahead and we'll layer these up. And I'm going to go ahead and use the traditional white glue, um, the mono liquid light white glue. It's only $4 and it goes a long way. And you see, I'm like barely, I'm not even squeezing it. I'm just barely squeezing it. And it gives out just this thin bead and that's it, all you need. You don't need more. That's plenty. Um, that's plenty. All right, and we'll get that layered on there. And then I'm gonna layer this on top. All right, I love this silly, fun candy paper. I've never been to Dylan's candy store but I, I wanted to when I was in New York and didn't have the chance, but I thought it would be kind of cool to go there just to see what it's like. Um, I don't know, I think candy's fun. I don't even really like sugar candy, I like chocolate, but I like the way candy looks. I just like the what it evokes when you see a piece of candy. It just, it's like a fun concept. So then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be making this layer. Ooh, you know what, I didn't, this, I need to chop this smaller. This was much larger. You see how wide that is? It's actually like covering too much. Yeah, it's covering too much of my paper. So I wanted it a little bit smaller. So this was originally, so this is gonna be one and a half inches wide. Uh, oh, um, yeah, wide, by, or four inches wide by one and a half inches like long. I guess. And this is two inches, so now it's going to be two and three quarter inches by four inches of pool party. It just, um, you'll see, if I have the the heart shape, it's, if I had it larger, the heart shape would, it would, it was, would like overlap a little too much. So I needed to trim that down. So I found that out as I was putting the other one together and then forgot about it. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp with some uh, Highland Heather because there's Highland Heather on the paper, 
but there's also Granny Apple Green, there's Pool Party, there's this um, Blushing Bride and Fleur de Flamingo and Melon uh, Mambo. There's a lot of different colors of candy, um, but I just thought having the purple would be nice, but I didn't really want to use the Granny Apple Green. Um, I'm not Granny Apple, the uh, Gorgeous Grape, because I thought the, might as well have a little different. Um, so let me just press that down. And remember, you don't rock it. <coughs> and I just decided to make my own sort of designer series paper with this um, Highland Heather. And so I'm stamping off. Some of this will be covered up, but that's okay. And go ahead and we'll get that on there. And it's just to give this, and see this little piece here that's uneven, that's going to be covered up actually. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so this is a little uneven, but that's okay. You see how it's because it had run off the side of my, um, of my cardstock, but that's okay because I'm going to be covering that up with uh, the heart. And we're just going to glue that down. And layer that up. The hardest part is we're gonna have to color our little, um, we're just gonna have to color our otters. So, but I already have a design going for my otters this time, so we're not experimenting as much. Oh, and I gotta glue it down. So for my white, so I purposely wanted, <laughs> I purposely wanted this lollipop to be a little bit more visible. So that's why I made sure that it was down here as opposed to this one. I don't know. I just wanted a little bit more of that lollipop showing. So it's just something to think about when you're doing, putting your designer series paper down. It's thinking about what's going to show when you put your layer. And so... There we go. So we've got that layer for now. Then we're going to take our white and we're just going to stamp with, um, we're going to just stamp with a memento ink. I'm going to stamp two of them because I'm going to need, I'm doing two little cards. Okay. And I'm going to stamp on the corner here because I'm going to be using my heart punch. So that way I know I can punch them out and it won't be too much extra waste. Punch him. So most of his tail just kind of comes off the edge and you can cut off more of his body. Um, you'll see most of his body is already cut off, but so, all right. We needed one for each card. off before I put my card right on top of my stamps which I have done before so the dual heart punch um, pack is the best I love it so much I've used it for so many different things so I'm gonna punch that one out and this one I'm gonna punch with a little bit more oh I might have to do them again I Got him a little too close, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to punch him again. Or stamp him again, because I was a little, this is just a little too close. <coughs> because I wanna be able to have that lollipop in his hand. And so I had stamped too much. Go figure. Well, I'll use him for something else. I'll still punch him out. I'll just use him for something else. I just needed a little bit more of his um, hand showing because I'm going to put a lollipop in it. And I want to make sure there's plenty of room for that lollipop. So I'm going to move this otter over a little bit to the right 
I'm not cutting off his hand totally, but see, I want a little space here so I can put that lollipop. There we go. Um, and I'll actually probably just put this back inside my otter um, case, and that way when I need another one, I just have it handy. Um, just like I, this is my template that I had used last time when I was coloring my otters. And I was kind of going back and forth about what colors to use when I was coloring them. So I made a little template and I, um, out of a scrap piece of paper. And last time I used this cinnamon cider, this time I want to use the gray granite. And you see how it's blurred? You see how like the alcohol blends like blurred the, um, blurred the eyes there? It's because the black ink was too wet when I was coloring and I probably colored a little bit too much you know because it is alcohol I mean these are water-based blends so the alcohol resists the water um, but it's not totally impervious to it completely it's not like an oil marker and so I just kept this template in my little stamp set so that the next time I wanted to do otters, I didn't have to start all over again trying to figure out what I wanted for the belly, what I wanted. You see, if I want his belly to be a little darker, I can mix the colors and I can experiment. Like even the nose, I decided to use a pink nose, but I, I went ahead and cut, tried them out here so that I knew which one I wanted. Um, so that's just something as a little tool. So I'll just put these back inside my um, otter case here. And that way I have it the next time I use my otter stamp set. That's just a little little tip, little trick that I happen to use. I look at these dual punch. Now I think the dual punch stamps are 32 or the dual punch, heart punches. I think it's 32 um, for both. I could be wrong. It might be 36, but you get the two punches in one. That's almost $50. So if you got that and something else, like the pack of a Valentine paper, you'd be at your $50. Um, so you'd be real close. All right, so let's go ahead and get to coloring. So what I was have been learning about the blends, I'm not the best at using the blends because it's just a new skill for me using these alcohol markers. I've learned that if I color, if I do a coloring layer around the edge, I did a little bit of this before, but not a ton, but I'm doing it a little bit wider this time of the dark. And you can come back and add more texture later, um, but I'm making sure I do like a layer around the areas that I want shaded and then add the light on top and it'll just give it a different texture. So I'm doing that first. I use the bullet point for that. Now I'm gonna come back in with my light gray granite and it's gonna change the texture up just a little and show a little bit of shadowing. The line will not be as obvious, it'll blend. Right now you're seeing it, but it'll blend here shortly. And you don't have to press too hard with these markers. I was watching this video of this one lady and like they were totally squeaking when she was when she was coloring with the markers. You don't have to press that hard. The and you see this line will lighten as it dries. And if it doesn't, just add a touch more and it'll slowly lighten up so that you don't have the dark line around the edge. So you see how there's just a shadowing. You can probably see it down below, but you see there's a, just a slight shadowing around his little body. So that's what those are for. I appreciate anyone that's watching. Feel free to comment. I appreciate anyone watching. My friend, whenever my friend Tony had a chance, she just loved, even though she didn't always craft that much, she used to watch because she loved just seeing, you know, I'm like almost like addicted to DIY kind of things to watch. I'm addicted to watching DIY videos myself, 
Even if I know I'm not going to make the craft, I'll watch the video. Um, let's see, and let me add just a little bit of darkness around the fur. It just adds just a little tiny bit. All right, that's good. And I decided to use the light flirty flamingo for the nose. I wanted the pink to be bright. I didn't want his nose to be brown and light. I wanted it dark uh, or super bright. And then for the belly, I'm going to use this ivory, which is kind of, it's almost like a vanilla. And it actually is a great blender when you want to make skin tones. We actually, speaking of skin tones, there are new blends that they've created and there's a new stamp set. I don't have it. They're called the neutral blends and their intention is mainly for shading for skin colors, which is super amazing. And Stampin' Up, we've been like really asking Stampin' Up to give us those types of things because, you know, not everyone, you know, this is quote unquote nude, but only if you're Caucasian. And so it's pretty cool that they've come out with an entire blend um, and they're not called light and dark, which I really appreciate too. They've even named them really appropriately. They're not called light and dark um, colors. They're they're based on just the shading and it's, it's just really cool. I just really appreciate what they've done to try and have just that little bit of inclusivity when we're, when we're, you know, making some of these if I'm if I have a little girl that is um a little girl that you know a little girl punch or stamp I you know I want the coloring to be right my niece um I come from a big Mexican family even though I know I'm very Caucasian and white so it doesn't affect me you know I've always had a crayon that matched me but when my niece was growing up that was not always the case so we'd always be trying to like make things match and and work and I just really appreciate that having that option and I can't wait to get my hands on those that'll be my next $50 purchase I want to say because there's I think there's six blends in the kit six to eight so it's a it's a little bit of an investment to get all those but if I can do all those different skin colors I'm going to be so excited and there's a stamp set and dies that go with it that um it's that uh, it says you matter and um, it's hands and it's black and white paper. It's pretty cool. And it's exclusive just right now. Now the markers will be available in June as well, in May and June, but the paper and the stamp set is exclusive just for right now. So, all right, it's so cute. Look at my little, my little otter. And then, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this lollipop. I normally trim my lollipop, like my, I trim my images where it's a lot wider around the edging, but this time I'm gonna trim right up against the line. Normally I like to have a little border, but this time I'm not. This time I'm going to have, um, This time I'm going to make sure that I try and stay on the line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but because I'm gonna put it in his hand, it looked funny when I had the border around the lollipop. It just looked strange. I didn't like it. All right. All right, oops, gently. Remember, turn the paper, not the scissors. And then you don't rip your stuff. And this lollipop might actually be a little too long also. I'm not sure if I want it to be this long. Yeah, I don't want it to be as long as his entire body. So I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter like my other one. And instead of putting, I was gonna put a dimensional underneath the heart but I actually decided just to put a um, coupled glue dots because the glue dots that we have are really thick. And um, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of glue to the back of my, to the handle um, because I wanna make sure that that can stay down. 
So just a tiny bit, just barely rub that on there. I want a tiny bit of glue on there just to hold it down in his hand. Come on. I don't want to press too hard because then a big old blob is going to come out. All right, I'll do it over here. There we go. A big old blob came out on the other paper, but see if I were to have it. And so I'm going to have that, but I just putting a little... The glue dots we have are nice and thick. So just having one or two glue dots um, gives a nice little thickness without it being as thick as a dimensional. And it just will pop it up, you'll see. And there we go. You see it's popped up in 3D, just a tiny bit, but not as much as you would with the dimensional. And then we're gonna go ahead and put dimensionals in the back of the heart. We're gonna pop that right onto here. And I, I moved him over a little bit so that this was totally clear. You're utterly awesome. So I moved it over just a tiny bit. Um, I think I'll move it intentionally a little further, but um, because I wanna have that shine. So let me get my dimensionals. But how cute is that little lollipop? Uh, hi, Holly. Thanks for watching. Holly. I miss Holly. We've, I haven't had a class in a while because I've been sick. So I have a new class that's coming out. And so I'll have to share it with her. Holly found me in Maryland just by randomly seeing a video, probably because someone commented or shared and she just happened to see a class that I was offering. And so, and we become friends. <laughs> because of that. So all right, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to add an inside. And so let me go ahead and just put some glue on the back. And I always want to have, you know, the gorgeous grape is a little bit dark. If you have a dark black pen, you could probably write on it. But um, it's probably best to have a piece of white on the inside just so that you could get your... Um, you know, your sentiment in there. And I could stamp the Otterly Awesome inside here again, too. Um, I just didn't want to. And you know what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cut out these little hearts. I'm going to cut out this piece of candy. And this time I'm going to leave the border. Waste not, want not. And so I'm going to, I'm going to put this, I'm going to glue down this piece of candy then I'm gonna glue a piece. I'm gonna probably, let me glue this one down too. I can glue a couple of these little pieces of candy on the inside just to add a little something to the little surprise to the inside. And then I'm gonna put the hearts over to cover up the, the parts that you can't, um, that have cut off. And so when I have, um, Oftentimes when I have paper like this that has images that I might want to cut out, I'll set aside one sheet of the paper just for cutting out images. And then I'll set aside and then the other one I'll use for backgrounds like we made on our card today. Um, this just happens to be a scrap that came off of um, the cards that I made this weekend, those Valentines I made. Um, yes, Holly, I'm feeling much better, thankfully, and I've got my videos like queuing up. So you'll see a lot more of my videos and my little flower class is going to come out. I should announce that this weekend. It's already made. I just have to do my little link so you guys can sign up and, and order. Oh, and my new thing is I'm asking people to send me checks. Everything has so many fees. I, I don't mind using PayPal and everything, but the fees are just going up like crazy. So I'm, if people want to pay me by check, I'm okay with it. Um, once it clears, I'm okay. So, and so we'll go ahead and we'll lay our little, see if we can layer our little hearts so that they can cover up that little bit, the edges of the candy so that we don't have, um, so that it's not, I'm actually, I don't even know if I need this yellow one. I think I'll do it like that. All right. I hate all the fees that they have on all of the payment plans. I mean, sometimes it's like five, six, seven percent that they charge on a little class. 
I'm like, dang, that's a lot. My class is only like $25. 7% of $25 is a lot, you know? Because um, I'm not a, you know, making like millions on my little class. Oops. Let's see. Let me turn that a touch. And then we'll add our little hearts. So we'll go back old old school style. My grandmother used to just take cash and checks at her liquor store that I grew up in. And, oh good, I do need that little yellow one because I turned it, so we'll pop this little yellow one right down. So just a little, just a little something on the inside as a little treat to your design. So that's the per first one. Love it. Cute. Adorable. I was going to cut out, I think, what did I put on the other one? Um, oh, on this one, I just cut out a large piece of candy that was handy. So waste not, want not, as my grandmother always said. So, you know, whatever you want to do to make it. I mean, how cute is that? I mean, this is just the best kit um, or stamp set. So now my other one is super simple too. I mean, this one's a lot more simple. It has less layers. This one has a few other layers. Remember, this is going to be um, uh, one in three one and three quarters oh my my this is yeah one in let's see yeah no one and a yeah one and three quarters this width is one and three quarters so that makes this one and a half and my original design it was a little bit wider okay so now we have this one here again this is from that same package of paper that sweet talk designer series paper and it's very, very Valentine-y, obviously, just a super cute Valentine. And I use the polished pink, but for the one that we're gonna do now, I'm actually going to make it with the Blushing Bride instead. I think it just gives a little different contrast. Um, that's what this background color is. It's this, it's like a mix between peach and pink. We have funny pinks right now that they're not exactly the pink I want sometimes. And so, um, yeah, so this is, we're gonna use this design, basic, basic design. Again, we've got our 11 inches by four and a quarter card base. Let me set aside my little otter before I get too carried away. Then we're just gonna put our layer. Oh, here's the back side of the hearts. How great is this stripe? You could use this stripe year round with any, it's kind of like that rainbow paper. I love the colors of it. Just such a fun paper. And you can use it all year round because sometimes I'm a little worried about getting some of these designs that are, oops, I gotta put it on here. Some of these designs that are very specific for a holiday, but um, there are a lot of options for other times of year too. So, and if you just want to make a bunch of Valentine cards, that's too cute too. Oh, darn it. I did it again. I had meant to, I thought I had cut out a piece of um, this paper, but I guess I lied and didn't. So we will make the same exact, but we'll still use this one. Let's see if it looks okay. If not, we'll punch another heart. But you see how cute that is? Like if I cut away, there's something about that blushing bride against this that I kind of like. And so that's what I was trying to go with. But I guess I misplaced my, my paper. I got distracted by something shiny. And uh, yeah. So, and this is the satin double stitch ribbon. And you'll see that there's this great stitching on the edges. And it's this gorgeous satin. I believe it's $7 for 10 yards. And uh, it's real red. And uh, I just love it. Um, it carried over from, I think, the holiday catalog is when it came out. Um, I Yeah, I think this was in the holiday catalog, not in the main catalog. Um, 
but it did carry over from before. And so oh, it's such a great, great quality ribbon too. Let me get my ribbon scissors. This was a, um, a sample that I got from my upline candy. She is such a fun lady. And she, um, I went to her retreat and she had given me this real red. So yeah, darn, this is a bummer. I, I, I swear I had cut out a piece of Blushing Bride to show you guys the contrast, but oh, it was just a dream, just a dream. Because you're prepping and I'm like setting things down and I'm like, oh, I don't want to be late for my video. And so now that I'm back in action, I can get everything back in order. All right. So this one is super simple. We'll color our otter again and see. I guess this still works. I could still use the blushing bright. I think I'm going to punch out a pink one because I want it to match a little bit more. But um, you can see how that Blushing Bride would give a different, if I just erase, if I erase the pink around the edge, you can see where that Blushing Bride really comes out as opposed to the brighter polished pink color. So, yeah. All right, so don't forget, if you wanna pick anything up, you can go to um, stampinup.com and use this host code and remember for every $50 increment you spend you get a um, for every $50 increment you spend you get a free gift from Stampin' Up. So let's color our otter and then we'll cut out a little something something to go in his um, hand. Same thing. I'm going to use the same gray I thought I'd just stick with the same design that I had used before. So using the dark on the outline and then the light and it just adds that little texture. I'm just learning how to use these. I've never used them until Stampin' Up! came up with them. So, And the cool thing is, is I don't know if you realize if you color a lot, you'll know that when you use markers, it leaves like those directional lines of where you colored. Well, these don't do that because they're alcohol based. They blend in, hence the name blending pens. And so the alcohol blends and you don't get the harsh outline. Now, I do like outlining everything in black when I'm coloring with crayons, I'm not going to lie. I love to color. I love coloring in books and to color. Super relaxing. All right, so we'll get our little otter and let it dry. Don't get too antsy with it and want to rush and... Um, color more because it, you'll, it'll blend and then bleed. I'm using the light Florida Flamingo for his nose. And I'm gonna take the dark one and just add my little accents as well. Just a, just a few accents to show a little more furriness. When I, um, I don't know if you guys saw the porcupine, I did one video that was like a porcupine and I could add a lot of texture with these markers from that. That was really fun. Um, all right, and then the ivory for his belly. And the brush tip is kind of nice because it also you can color more quickly with that nice, nice wide tip. And again, no streaking is, um, no streaking. And I don't mean like running across the football field, um, but it just doesn't have any um, streaking, but it does bleed through. So that's why you always want to have a background when you use the blends. And I don't think I'm going to use the Blushing Bride. I think I'm going to go back and punch one of the pink because um, 
I don't know, I don't like it like that. So, my plan to show you two designs didn't work, but oh well. Such is life. Hopefully you'll forgive me. Um, and I can use that little heart for something else. Or I guess I gotta make another Valentine for somebody else. All my copious boyfriends are getting all these Valentines. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, they'll all get a little otter. They'll all get a little otter Valentine. If I had my students, I actually totally would give these. Right now I don't have any students. I've been working in a different department. So I don't have any students to give my Valentines to. They would love it. They would think it was so fun. They love American holidays. They find it fun to learn about them, which I find it fun to learn about their holidays too, so I get it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I found this little, um, see this little one, one little heart in the corner here. So I'm gonna cut that one and put it in his hand. I'm gonna leave a border around this one because the lollipop stick looked funny with having a border around it, but this little heart that won't look as funny. And again, I'm not gonna put a dimensional, I'm just gonna put a, um, a glue dot. Where'd my glue dots go? There we go. I love our glue dots. They're the best. They're strong, one, and they don't fold up on it themselves. Sometimes you get glue dots and they fold up on themselves all the time. And I like that these ones don't. And they're not too thick. They're just right. It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you know? I mean, they're just right. And Stampin' Up! Supplies, I don't know, Stampin' Up! just has really good quality supplies. I really appreciate that. And um, and I so I'm pretty faithful um, customer. I only started doing these videos, um, was it in, I think it was in 2020 that I actually really started doing these videos and really started to design more and do more so that, um, to make this kind of like a, a little business, a little side business that I could do for fun and in a creative outlet. You know, I'm not a like million dollar salesperson. That would be awesome, but you know, get to share my love of crafting with y'all. So we've got um, our fronts done. So let me set that one aside. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the inside. Um, and I'm just gonna find something to cut out. I think I'll cut out a striped heart and glue that one on the inside. I don't, anything I have handy that's easy to grab in the in the edge. I'll do that. Okay. And normally I if I were to stamp. Now there are some great Valentine stamp sets that you can buy that you could stamp the inside here. I'm going to go ahead and use I'm going to go ahead and cut out this little heart, this striped heart use that one for the inside here oh and then I need to stamp my sentiment I didn't have any heart-shaped images to stamp for mini stamp sets except for because I, I I tend to if you guys watch me very often you'll know I don't I tend to buy stamp sets that I know I can use um, for many different occasions it's just my style um, and then every so often I'll fall in love with one that's like super specific, but. Okay, put my little heart in the corner, press that down. You could have used glue dots too, but I'm good. So it's like a little sticker. I could even cut out this little piece of candy and add that if I want. I think I'll set that aside. And then I'm gonna use the Otter the Awesome with Real Red. And remember, when you have the rubber stamps, you do not need to press too hard because otherwise you'll get a little halo around. There we go. You just go straight down and up. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. You just go straight down and up. 
I wish I had done the stamping before I put that on because sometimes if you do it just right, you can throw it off. So maybe adding the candy will fix it. So, um, so yeah, so those are our cards for today. I don't know how long. Oh, I guess I took almost an hour getting my cards out. So don't forget to use this host code if you go um, to stampinup.com. If you want to order, this is the um, Sweet Talk um, Designer Series paper. If you want to get a Valentine stamp set that matches this particular paper, it has the Sweet Tarts um, type of like love you, you know, uh, stamps. Uh, that's called Sweet Conversations. Um, but if you want this, this is Sweet Talk Designer Series paper, um, gorgeous grape pool party, and remember the celebration set. Oh, and the dual dual heart punch. And then this Awesome Otters Celebration set, which is free only. You only can get this set if you order $50 um, in $50 increments. And then you can get it. And I actually, the, I, this is the first time I've used this one. I've already done a, um, a, a design with that one. My next one is actually going to be kind of like a funny birthday card using two sets. And I need to figure out one for this sweet little one with the little fish. So you'll see him again. He'll just look a little different. I'll find some different paper to use him with. So um, thanks for tuning in, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. And, you know, if you have any questions, you can message me. Um, if, you, um, if you have any questions, you can always message me or you can um, comment on any of my videos and I will help you to the best of my ability. I always appreciate your support and um, thanks for tuning in. So, all right, well, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys later. Thanks, bye.